All right, so this is gonna be an epically short video. I might even release two videos on the day that I release this one. In case you didn't know, I'm actually doing all these videos beforehand, so these are all pre-recorded. This series is definitely gonna finish because it's already finished. I made it all. I'm just releasing the videos over time just because that's what seemed to make sense at the time. All right, so we're gonna start to talk about prefabs, what you can do with them, how they work, but more importantly than them, we're going to uh, clean up things because it's it's pretty, gotten pretty messy. So this is a folder. It works just like any other folder inside of any other system. If you go right click on it and go and show and explore, let me drag it over. And you can see inside of here, I'm in my YouTube tutorial assets and YouTube tutorial is named according to what we named this project. Assets is what's inside this folder right here. It's exactly the same. It controls the same. A lot of it's the same. Now this is gonna get overwhelming as you get in bigger, bigger projects. So you wanna make a folder, you wanna name it scripts. You wanna move all of those over there. This is your camera controller and your player controller and just move them over so that they're all in one spot. You don't have to deal with them inside of there anymore. You might even want to like subdivide that at a later time to uh, better be able to get around your project. But for now, you don't really have to worry about it. We are working inside of our sample scene. We've been working in the sample scene all along. That's okay. And now we're gonna create an, an extra folder. We're gonna call it art, we're gonna call it prefabs for now. That's actually a pretty good folder. So we can just drag this over here. We're gonna rename this to our uh, level. Let's do that and now these things are all set up right now so that they work for the scene. But if we made a new scene, they wouldn't exist anymore. So we're going to want to drag the player into the prefabs, the level into prefabs. You're going to see it turn blue. I don't know what they're talking about there. Are they talking about Sunnyland? Hold on. There we go. So we drag the level into there. Right now, this is all on there. And now what a prefab does is it makes a copy of this. It's like the base copy of this. So like, say I go over here and I do something, I'm like, okay, I made, I don't know what I did, but now my guy plummets like a meteor and goes right through the earth, he goes so fast. All right, for one thing, I need to make it so that it's continuous uh, collision. Okay, but still, so fast. And I can't even move, like no matter how, how hard I try, I can't move, but the gravity's too hard. Man, I'm not Vegeta, I can't pull this off. All right. So, what do I do? Well, luckily we made a prefab, and if we hit revert, oh, it works inside the, the prefab world, luckily. So, boom, I plummet at a normal speed, and I fall, and I die, but that's okay, because it works now, right? Let's make this back to 15, I think is what I had it at. And now I made a change in here, and my prefab is actually completely different, right? So, if I get my player to a place that I actually like him at, you see it has this prefab option at the top. I'm like, okay, he feels and looks good right now. This is awesome. I unclick that, I hit apply on here. Then all of a sudden I click on my prefab down here and he's got that 15 jump force as well. So you can see on here like how powerful prefabs can be, especially as you get more and more items inside the game. So you'll get a much more powerful effect here right <laughs> you see what I mean like you can do some crazy things by having prefabs in existence making copies of things and stuff but just by dragging it over it does a whole lot of difference so I hope that's kind of like a good introduction to uh, prefabs if you like this video please hit that like button below and give me that subscription and that bell notification so you can get all the access to all these free videos and know when they're coming up and of course, please leave me that comment below. Let me know what you want, what you need, what's going on in your life. <laughs> I don't know, anything that you want. Um, mostly though, like what kind of video series you want next and uh, what you want to have updated, what could be better inside the series, what you need explained more, what your stickups are, let me know. I'll try to help out the best I can. I hope you have the best day. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time, bye.